You're back with Juan RV here in Shipshawana, Indiana. What we're going to go through today is a Zinger 328 SB. Okay. Here you got a light. You got up and down here. Pull this rubber out. You got a manual run out for manual if the motor ever breaks on you. This is going to indicate what tank you pull from. If you leave one tank on and leave one off, it's going to pull from this one. If you leave both of them on, it's going to pull from this one first and it's going to auto switch to this one. Bad thing about that is you don't know when you're out of gas. Over here is your battery disconnect. Power this way is on, that way is off. Only time you shut that off is when you're storing it. This is for our solar on the side, it's through Go Power. You can get one to plug it in there, and that directly charges your battery. It does not have anything else to do with the solar up top. This is your pass through. Got your 50 amp extension cord there, and then you've got your manual slide out rod over there, and your front jack rod. Always use one ply marine toilet paper. Got your 10 foot sewer hose, 30 to 110 plug. Black tank drops, 25 foot garden hose. Electric stabilizers. This does not level the RV. You level the RV side to side, forward to back first. Put blocks under these obviously so you ain't sticking them in the mud. Run it down until it cuts out. Just like so. Then once that clicks, you're able to lift those back up. The awning, this is your ring dump. Push these two clips in, pull it down towards you. And that direct the ring from either one side or the other. And that's the same on the other end. Friction doors. Always make sure your door, make sure your door is touching the side of the RV, bringing these steps in or out. Because if not, this bracket here smacks this door and bends it all up. Then you've got a latch there, and you just shut the door on. Grab handle, two outdoor speakers. This is your vent for your stove. Fresh water fill, you get a cutoff garden hose, stick it in there. Turn it on, fill it up. And then you've got your quick drain for your fresh water tank, which is right here. Always leave it open when you're not using it, just so it can air out. This is for your furnace. This hole is for your manual slide out for your big main slide. 110 plugs, cable out here. Black tank flush, what that is for is flushing your black tank. So first you're gonna drain your sewage, hook garden hose up to this, turn the hose on, and let your black tank flush. Then you've got your foldable steps here, another door. In your outside kitchen, this is a 110 fridge, so it does have to be plugged in to shore power to work. Then you've got a light over here, 110 plug, and cable hook up out here. got your little portable outside stove. And then the LP line for this plugs directly in over here to your LP disconnect, which is just like an airline. Push it in, turn the lever on. That's all you've got to do. And there is your rear stabilizers. Hot and cold outside shower, city water connection. When you get to the campground, hook up here. No need for the pump, just turn the hose on and it pushes the water through the RV. It is pre-wired for a few hour backup camera. You've got cable and satellite hook up out here. That's if the campground has it. Plug in there, turn your booster off on the inside and it feeds the cable on the inside. Water heater, pressure release valve, then your drain plug is right here, inch and sixteenth socket. There's two bypass valves on the back side of this, so when you go to winterize, 
you'll need to pull the drain plug and just let the water drain out of that. This is your sewage outlet. The left here is your gray handle. This right side is your sewage for the back. That's where all of your sewage and gray tank will come out. This is where your 50 amp cord will plug in. And then the other side of your pass through, those are the two rods for your manual slide outs. VIN number, tire pressure, and tire size, it's all right there.